Hello friends and my dear students as we have discussed about the beam strength of bevel gear in the previous session as well as before we have discussed the bevel gear basics and force analysis so today we are going to cover the wear strength of bevel gear calculations okay so in the beam strength we have seen that the face width of the bevel gear is generally taken as 10m 10 times of the module or a0 by 3 a0 by th a0 is your face cone or so, uh, cone distance okay which you have to calculate it by the formulas given in your design data book as well so this is also mentioned in your design data book so fetch up the data over there and do click whenever you are solving any numerical related to the bevel gear so now the wear strength <coughs> in order to determine the wear strength of the bevel gear it is bevel gear is considered to be equivalent to the formative spur gear in the plane which is perpendicular to the tooth at the larger end which we have also assumed in the calculation of the beam strength okay in the beam strength we have applied the lewis equation which is the form, uh, foremost equation or you can say the uh, fundamental equation for the calculation of the beam strength while here we are applying the buckingham's equation which is the fundamental equation for the calculation of wear strength okay so as you know that the for, for the formative spur gear the wear strength will can also be written as b multiplied with q dp dash k b is his face width q is your ratio factor dp is your pitch circle diameter of formative pinion k is a material constant depends on your material properties now the pitch circle diameter of the formative pinion can be rewritten as 2 times of rb or dp divided by cos gamma okay that uh, dp is the pitch circle diameter so in this way your bear strength can also be written as bq dpk divided by cos gamma okay in case of the bevel gear either the pinion or gear is generally overhanging so it is subjected to the deflection of uh, deflection under the action of tooth forces and it can be found that transmit the load only 3 quarter of the face width is effective means whenever it is transmitting the load only 3 quarter of the face width is effective that's why instead of taken whole face width they have rewritten as 0.75 of b rest all formulas are same so we will uh, take this particular formula as a final formula for the calculation of the uh, wear strength of the bevel gear where q you can calculate with the help of number of formative teeth 2 zg dash divided by zg dash plus zp dash and uh, it can also be rewritten as 2 times of zg divided by zg plus zp tan gamma this formula you can also fetch up from your design data book take to refer those pages where you can get it okay k is equals to sigma c square sin alpha cos alpha 1 by ep plus 1 by eg is your Young modulus for the pinion and gear divided by 1.4. Similarly, it can also be written for 20 degree pressure angle, 0.16 bhn by 100 whole square. So this is all about the wear strength, and the wear strength indicates the maximum value of the tangential force at the large end of the tooth that the tooth can transmit without pitting or wearing failure. And it should always be more than the effective force between the missing teeth. That's why factor of safety will come in the picture. okay so this is all about the wear strength but we have to also calculate the effective load on the gear tooth which is if power is given then you can calculate the torque and if you are able to calculate the torque or you are having the uh, value of torque in hand then you can calculate the value of tangential load which is 2 pt by d okay so the tangential component due to the power transmission so there is a dynamic load which you can calculate with the help of or with the help of buckingham's equation in the final stage that p effective will be equals to cs pt by cv cs is your service factor cv is your velocity factor so if you have done the calculation of the spur and helical gear then you can easily recall this value so the velocity factor for the cut teeth for the cut teeth it is equals to 6 divided by 6 plus v while velocity factor for the generated teeth okay there are two kinds of teeth manufacturing methods for uh, manufacturing of bevel gear teeth so depending on which kind of manufacturing method or which kind of uh, velocity uh, which kind of teeth they have manufactured either cut teeth or generated teeth then you can select the velocity factor formula similarly the formula for the dynamic load for the bevel gear can be rewritten as 21 vc v plus pt divided by 21 b plus under root c v plus pt so pt is dynamic load which you can calculate it okay then pitch line velocity 
deformation factor some of the errors between the two missing teeth face bit of the tooth and as well as the tangential force due to the power okay so in this way you can also calculate and they have also given the value of c okay is 11400 newton per mm square if bevel gears are made up of steel okay similarly you can calculate and p effective can also be rewritten you have also seen this formula if this incremental dynamic load will come in the picture then it is cs plus cspt plus pd okay and this uh, to avoid the failure of the gear tooth due to pitting your bearing strength or bearing uh, bear strength is equals to p effective multiplied with the factor of safety okay so in this way you can also calculate the value of factor of safety if it is not given in the picture okay similarly to avoid the bending failure your beam strength should always be equals to p effective multiplied by factor of safety or whichever is minimum you can select uh, any to either beam strength or wear strength whatever you are getting minimum you can calculate or depending on that particular criteria uh, criteria that it is greater or lesser so we will solve this numerical in upcoming session you can practice by your own okay and go through it particular this particular numerical so that we can you can have uh, your doubts cleared whenever we are going to discuss this particular topic okay thank you so much for your patience hearing if you have not subscribed this engineering college banswada youtube channel do subscribe and for more such updates about different branches of engineering like mechanical electrical civil and computer science engineering thank you so much for your patience hearing do visit for upcoming sessions of this beam strength uh, bevel gear designing problems in the next session where we will discuss the numericals related to this particular topic thank you so much